Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Someone just submitted a question. Is it possible for me to have a full sleeve black ink tattoo removed and not have any visual remnants of that tattoo in my arm once we're done with the procedure? And the answer is yes, it can be done. I have done it. However, there are several variables that are out of our control that we have to be lucky with in order to have that happen. First of all, the fact that it's a black ink tattoo is excellent chances that this can happen, that we can remove all of the ink and not see anything left behind. The reason being is black ink, we can use the YAG laser and the YAG laser is gentler on the skin. The problem is there are variables. For instance, every tattoo has puddles of ink that have more ink in there than other areas of the tattoo. And those areas are going to absorb more laser energy. And these little pockets of ink can lead to some skin changes. We can get a thickening of the skin there. We might have a little ghosting of the ink in there. And that's always a potential. And we can't tell by looking at the tattoo because we're looking at it from the top down. We're not looking at it sideways. So we don't know how much ink is in any given area at any one time. So that is one variable. The next variable is going to be what's in that ink. Ink is not regulated. And a manufacturer is manufacturing that ink with the intention of making a product that's going to last a lifetime. They're not doing it and saying, we're going to make a product that's going to last until somebody wants to laser it off, so we're going to make it easy to come off with a laser. That's not on the back of their mind when they're doing this. They're making a product to last. Therefore, these products might have substances in there that make them a little more resistant to UV rays. So they might have titanium, it could have zinc in there, it could have an oil base in there, and all of these things, we can't tell by looking at it from the naked eye, but all of these things will interfere with the laser tattoo removal process and make it a little harder. Multiple colors make it difficult as well. The reason being is we have to use multiple lasers and each laser has different properties and each laser has a different tissue interaction. So the laser I might need for a blue ink, my preference is the ruby, has a tendency to lighten skin tone. If we have a preponderance of colors, reds, green, blues, yellow, purple, brown, that adds to the level of difficulty because we're going to have to add more lasers to the mix. Now, the other thing would be the time that it's going to take to remove one of these full sleeve tattoos. There's certain things that we have to do together in order to have a successful removal. And it's a lot of stress on me and you as well. I don't just laser a tattoo and walk away and never think about it again until the patient shows up. Every patient I'm concerned, are they going to take care of it properly? Is it going to get infected? Is there going to be an allergic reaction? Is there going to be something untoward happening, like an outbreak of herpes around the area? Things of this nature. That's always on the back of my mind. And the patient, after having a laser procedure, does have some discomfort. There's swelling. There's itching, there's a racing of the skin, sometimes there's blistering, and they have to deal with all of these things. Now, on your average tattoo, it's not that bad. We laser it once, a few days of, of discomfort on the patient's end, and then we come back in six weeks, at the minimum, sometimes 12, and then we do it again. With a full sleeve, we cannot laser the entire tattoo in one session. We never go from the shoulder to the wrist in one time. The reason is, every time you laser a tattoo, there's swelling involved. And if it's swelling on the chest or on the belly or the thigh, you don't really notice it that much. But if it's swelling in an end organ, going down to a, a, a hand or a foot or a finger, you have the risk of cutting the blood supply off. So if you do a whole sleeve, top to bottom, there could be so much swelling that it hurts the muscles, the veins, the arteries, and the nerves. And if it compresses your arteries, you can start to lose fingers. It's called a compression syndrome. 
and it's a very dangerous thing. And when we're doing full sleeves, and it doesn't matter if it's an arm or a leg, we have to be very critical. So, what do I do? I would laser in a single session something slightly bigger than my whole hand. And we might do that, let's say, on a Monday. And then on Thursday, if everything is well, we'll do another area. And then on Monday, the next area. And again and again, until we get to the bottom. And it's going to usually take somewhere between five and seven treatments to get from the top to the wrist. And that's all considered the first session. So you can see, as a patient, you have to go through that process, that aftercare process, many times just to get from the top to the bottom. Aside from the number of sessions that it's going to take to complete one whole pass of this arm, we also need to have a patient who is not in a rush, a patient who is willing to put the time in to have it removed properly. I tend to have those early sessions come uh, six weeks apart. However, once we start going at it and start using higher laser energies, I have my patients wait 12 weeks. So when you were talking about something like a full sleeve, where just from the sheer volume of ink that's in that arm, we're going to be together at least two years. It's going to take probably 15 sessions to remove the tattoo, and I'm talking about 15 sessions top to bottom. And when I say plenty of time, I tell my full sleeve patients, even my half sleeve patients, let's plan to be together for two years. Sounds terrible, but the reason being is we want to have the least amount of trauma to the skin, and we want plenty of healing time in between. So let's say even just a simple black tattoo. Those first sessions, yes, you could come six weeks apart. But after about the third session, I start extending that to 12 weeks apart. It gives some time to heal. It gives a little more time for the immune system to take out that ink that we've shattered. And it adds time to the process. So if you have a full sleeve and you want it completely removed, expect to be together for a minimum of two years. You're going to need probably 15 sessions on this. And the reason being is when we look at the Kirby score, treatments for an arm are five sessions and treatments for a large volume of ink are four sessions. And it's a tremendous ink load in that arm. It's a tremendous amount of work that the immune cells have to do. And they can only do so much. So it does take time. We have nine treatments just because it's an extremity and because it's a large volume of ink. And we still haven't gotten into your skin type or we haven't gotten into the color involved or if there's any scarring in there already. So you can see it's going to be a lengthy process, but it can be done. We have to have a certain amount of luck on our side and that you have an ink that is susceptible to laser treatment. And that I have a patient who's willing to be patient, for a better word, and go through the process in the proper amount of time. Now, when we're talking about full sleeves, sometimes I prefer if a patient will want to get a, a cover-up. That changes things a lot because I find that if they want to change the sleeve, and many times they do, I have more people coming in with a full sleeve who just want a new tattoo than people who say, take it off completely, bring it down to my bare skin. And if that's the case, then usually three or four sessions, six weeks apart, lighten it enough for most of the artists to want to put a new tattoo on or be willing to put a new tattoo on. There are still inks that give us grief. Yellows, for instance, there's no tattoo removal system that's going to really be absorbed by yellow ink. Same goes for white ink. And then there are just some mixes of colors that for one reason or another can be very difficult. Purple can be difficult. Brown can be difficult. Certain shades of gray, believe it or not, can be difficult, depending if the ink was diluted with water or if it was diluted with white ink. 
So I could never tell a patient for certain, yes, we're going to do a full sleeve tattoo, and when we're done, you're going to look and you're not going to ever know that there was a tattoo there. It has happened. But we have to be very careful and we have to have some luck involved in just what those inks do and what they have in them. So it is possible to remove a full sleeve tattoo and not have any remnant of it once we're done. But it's going to require a lot of time and a lot of patience and it's going to also require just the luck of having a sensitive ink and good laser equipment. If you want to do a full sleeve removal, just please make sure you go to somebody who's well educated in laser tattoo removal, who's been doing it for a long time. Because there are certain issues and certain complications that can occur that could be really limb threatening. Now we know that it is possible to do full sleeves and have great results. Can't guarantee it, but it does occur. So, have a great day.